to DIY Design by CCW. My name is Candy and I'm the host of this channel. If you love DIY glam designs and decor, please like and subscribe. Now let's get into this video. Well, hello everyone. Welcome to DIY Design by CCW. I hope you are having a fantastic day. And as always, I thank you for tuning in. Well, everyone, uh, today I'm going to be bringing you another glam DIY. And this time we're going to work with some paint. Uh, we I've been doing that a little bit lately uh, as I do my color series. But not only are we going to paint with this beautiful turquoise paint. Again, this paint is made by Treasure Gold. We're going to do some Mod Podge, some seed beads. We've got um, some bling wrap you name it we're going to use it today now also this video is coming by special requests one of my subscribers her name is marie dixon said would you do seed beads so marie the seed beads are for you now let's jump right into the diy so the first thing i want to do is uh, i'm going to start with the vase and what we're going to do is simply put a coat of paint uh, on this vase. Now, this va this paint is probably my favorite. I've got it in several shades. It's called Treasure Gold. It's made by Folk Art, uh, which actually it, Folk Art uh, is a, a um, division of Plaid, and Plaid also makes Mod Podge, which is another one of my favorite products. So, what I'm going to do is I always start just by brushing on a light coat and, um, you know, you don't have to be as careful. You want to get the coverage in that first coat as uh, evenly as possible. But this is going to require two, maybe even three coats. So for the first coat, what I'm really doing is just getting the paint on. And uh, I'll set it aside and let it dry. And um, I usually paint at least, I usually use put at least two coats. And I do believe for this particular application, I did two coats as well. Now you'll see that I'm only painting the bottom half because I plan to do something different with the top half. All right, now we're going to jump right into the candle holders. Uh, and these are Dollar Tree bowls that we're going to use for our candle holders. And I'm going to do the same thing with them. I'm just going to give them a light coating and uh, set them aside, let them dry for a little bit. Then I'll come back and I do believe I end up putting at least three coats on the bowls as well. All right, guys, so I'll be back when my paint is dry and we're ready to start uh, adding a little embellishment. So we're going to start by uh, adding a little bling to the vase. Now I'm going to do the top part first. And um, what I'm going to do, you guys have, you know, if you follow this channel, you probably know my style by now and you know this. But just in case you're new, uh, when I do a vase, I think of it like a dress. So I always try to, sometimes I start with the bottom, which I consider the skirt. Sometimes I start with the top. But in this case, we're going to start with the top of the vase now, or the blouse. Um, at this point, I was not sure exactly what I was going to do with the bottom yet, if I was going to leave it because I think the paint by itself is beautiful, or if I was going to add a little, you know, bling or a little, little extra glam. But uh, if you know me and you follow this channel, you know I'm a little extra, so... I probably do, or let's say I will do a little bit more than I started, or at least what I thought I would do when I started. So here, uh, what I did uh, is cut some sections, and I'm going to go around the top of the vase from the belt area all the way up to the rim, and uh, I'm just going to basically tap these on. And uh, I'm using a quick hold glue. It's made by uh, E6000 and it really helps because it goes on thin 
and uh, it grabs a lot quicker than uh, the normal E6000. But of course, you use whatever adhesive you feel comfortable with. Um, so I'm going to do this on all four sides and then we'll come back and we'll do move on to the next step. Okay, so now this is how the vase looks with uh, the sections of bling wrap applied all around the top. Uh, you just want to make sure you get them as evenly spaced as possible. Now we're going to move on. I've got some bugle beads. I've also got uh, my favorite diamond dots, and these are diamond dots number 705. I'll make sure that I leave that information down in the description box. The first thing I'm going to do is mix bugle beads, uh, and they're the 5 millimeter bugle beads in silver. I'm going to mix those with the diamond dots. Now, if you've not seen my videos or you've not used these materials, the diamond dots, uh, they're little miniature rhinestones. Now we're going to use a little Mod Podge, and I'm using the gloss because I want this to dry clear, and we're going to do this in sections. Now, one of the reasons I wanted to do this today, um, again, my subscriber Marie wanted to know how you keep the seed beads from falling off because they will if you do not apply them properly. Now you want to apply a nice even coat of Mod Podge but here's the trick you have to let it set a little bit before you turn it. Now you don't see that always in my video because of course I don't have time to show you the time lapse but what I do is apply one section at a time and I leave it facing up for about five to ten minutes at least to make sure that the seed beads are properly set. And uh, when you're applying them, you also want to pat them down into the Mod Podge to make sure that they are locked in. Now, you can also try and come back and add another coat of Mod Podge. I have found that with the seed beads, I don't have to do that. Um, I don't have to spray them or anything. If I let them dry adequately, they normally don't uh, fall off. Now, if you get any fall, then you can do a little light spray, uh, maybe with a Mod Podge uh, spray or even a, a gloss uh, spray, like maybe a Krylon uh, gloss or Krylon uh, clear, rather, gloss. All right, so now we're going to move on. As you can see, I've done all four sides, and it's almost dry. When it when it's completely dry, the Mod Podge will turn white, and there's still a rather clear, and there's still a couple of white spots. But it's dry enough that I can go ahead and add uh, the embellishments. Now, uh, as you can see around the neck, I added some fabric trim. Again, that comes from uh, Joanne Fabrics. If you watch my channel, you know I use a lot of fabric trim. If you don't, um, I buy all of my glam fabric trims from Joanne Fabrics. And I'll make sure to leave a, a link in the description box for you in case you want to use the same thing. Now what we're going to do is uh, I've decided at this point I am going to add a little bit to the base. Even though I think it's pretty, I'm going to add just a little bit more to take it up a notch. And I decided to use this bling wrap that comes from E. Faber Mart. Again, I'll link that down in my description box as well. Now, um, I'll add it to both sides. 
and then I'm also just going to use a little regular bling wrap on the sides like you see me doing here now I do a little couple of little minor things off camera and I'll talk to you about those when we come back for the big reveal but hang on because we're about to move on to the next DIY Guys, so now we're going to finish up the candle holders. The first thing I'm going to do is add a little bit of Mod Podge and uh, my seed bead mixture, which is again the uh, seed beads and the um, diamond dots around the bottom of the base, just to add a little little extra to it now these bases are crystal i really didn't have to do anything to them i thrifted them uh they were about 50 cents i think uh at my thrift shop and they're absolutely gorgeous i, I could have left them alone but of course it's me i'm gonna do something so uh not only am i gonna do or did did i decide to do the seed beads but because i wanted this to be a matched set of the vase and these uh, candle holders I decided to add a little bit of bling wrap around the neck now again this is that fabric trim that I used on the vase guys you don't have to do this you certainly could leave if you were to do this DIY you certainly could leave your if you had crystal bases you certainly could leave them plain um, but like I said I'm always just a little bit extra so I'm gonna uh, glue that on glue this on and I'll have to hold it for a second or two because even though this is quick hold glue it doesn't set immediately all right now that um, that's done we're gonna go ahead and add a little bit of bling wrap to the uh, candle holder bowl now again as I said these uh, bowls come from Dollar Tree and uh, what I did is add three coats of paint, um, let, let your layers of paint dry in between so that you can get even coverage. And now we're just going to add a little bit of bling wrap and uh, dress them up. So what I did off camera is pre-cut my pieces. Uh, what I'm going to do is add um, some of the, the uh, regular bling wrap. And again, I've got links for all of this stuff down in my description box and if you'd like to you can certainly use one of my affiliate links to uh, order you'll save on shipping and things like that now uh, i'm going to go around the sides as you see and i'm making sure that i space them evenly so my design you know will look right and then i'll add a little bit of bling wrap around the top and um and I think the last thing that I'll do is go ahead and glue the candle holder to the base. So hang on for that. And then after that, I'll be back for the big reveal.
Alright everyone, so this is how everything turned out. I like them, but again, you let me know what you think. Now that's a close-up of the face, and that's a close-up of one of the candle holders, and uh, there, that's a close-up of the other candle holder. Now let's take a look, a little closer look at everything. Really pretty and different, I think. I love this color series that I've been doing because you can take paint and bling wrap and you can create something really different and really interesting for your home. And it's a custom piece. No one else is going to have it unless they make one. Now, there's another close-up there of the uh, little candle holders that were just created from a thrifted base. I paid 50 cent for that, as well as a Dollar Tree bowl. Um, and uh, a little bit of bling wrap, a little bit of seed beads on the base, and voila, that's what you have. And um, I think this set's beautiful. I actually think I want to make something else to go with it. I need to think about what I want to do, maybe some sort of glam tray or something like that, but we'll see. Um, now, um, that's another view. I wanted to show you what the vase looks like from the side. Now, what did I do off camera? Well, off camera, I added a tiny row of bling wrap, a little silver, uh, rather little um, single strand of bling wrap on either side of the fabric trim and then I glued on that beautiful brooch. Now that brooch did not come from Walmart where I usually get my brooches. That one came from e -Favor Mart. So again, I'll link that information down in my description box. You get a pack of five or six, I think, and they're very affordable. Now in the back, uh, I'm showing you some items that I've done for other on other DIYs. Now the, those little jars, uh, they're actually done with sapphire, not uh, the turquoise paint. And uh, but you see how close that the, they're all blue green. You know that's more of a this turquoise is more of an aqua color, and that is like a sapphire blue. But when you put them together, they look close. You know. Uh, the mirror that they're sitting on is a thrifted mirror that I just added a few gems to. And then there's some cylinders in the back, little square vases uh, that I did some time ago, as well as the bowls that you see on either side of the uh, new DIYs in the front. Um, so again, that's what I have for you today, guys. I hope you enjoy the video. And like I say always, um, you know, if you're not a member of the channel, I hope you'll consider subscribing. I'd love to have you be a member of the family. Also, you can join if you like, and that information is down in the description box. So again, guys, I thank you so much for watching. And like I say at the end of every video, can't wait to see you in the next video. All right, everyone. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day or night. Bye-bye.